Hi everybody, my name is Matthew. I'm from the SwitchBot Marketing Department and we're going to be doing a live stream here today to show you guys exactly how you can use SwitchBot S10 at home to get a fully automated home cleaning experience. We are now going to show you exactly how this will work using a demonstration with two water tanks that I have here. It's going inside the water station and then will make its way into SwitchBot S10 itself once it is connected to the water station itself. Then after this, it's going to be cleaning out the inside and it will take any contaminated or dirty water from the dirty water tank located on SwitchBot S10 place it through into the water station and then take it out into this water tank here that you should be able to see in a second as well. And you'll now see the dirty uh, contaminated water will leave out of the water station and into the water tank here. Here's the roll them up as well, as we just said. Um, it's now currently clean, so it's not got anything on it at all. Um, we're going to use a bit of our solution here to make it dirty. Hopefully we're going to be able to show the camera in a second as well. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, oh, that's nice, that rolled it up. Okay, so as you can see now, the roll them up itself is um, dirty. And we're going to put it back inside SwitchBot S10, and it will now clean the roll them up for us. So actually, when you're using this at home, and cleaning your floor, it's gonna self-clean the roll for you so that you won't have to clean it yourself. And it's all gonna be done inside of SwitchBot S10 itself. Now, we did mention earlier there is a scraper built in as well. that will actually help to scrape off any excess dust or dirt and also helps to clean the roll mop uh, as well. And you can see now on the back here of SwitchBot S10, all the dirty solution that we just poured onto our roll mop is being cleaned off of it and into the dirty water uh, tank here as well. It's also worth noting that the roll mop itself can clean itself 300 times per minute, so it's gonna be constantly cleaning as it goes along on your floor, um, just to keep it basically super, super clean. And here we go, it's now fully cleaned, doesn't have any of the solution left on it, and this is gonna happen once you're cleaning through your home, all in real time, and it's completely automated. Okay, so we've seen how a roll mop works in theory, but I think it's time now for an actual test to show you how SwitchBot S10's roll mop will work in a real situation. So it's time to see exactly what SwitchBot S10 can do. See now how SwitchBot S10 can clean up all the junk on your floor, but what about when it comes to carpet? So I've got Simon here with me again now, and we're going to take a look at just how super carpet friendly SwitchBot S10 is. And how does it do that? Well, SwitchBot S10 is able to retract its roll mop inside when it goes over carpet, and it will also stop spraying water when it's on top of the carpet as well. So we're going to do a test now. I have Simon again, as I said, here with me, and let's see how it turns out. And what I'm going to do here now is uh, pour some of this solution onto the roller mop um, and we're going to see how it goes when approached or approaching rather carpet uh, over here now. So I've put some here on the roller mop and I'm going to give it to Simon as well who's going to um, put some on this uh, competitor over here. So I actually in front of me now have a SwitchBot S10 and Simon has another uh, brand here that we're not going to name and we're going to try now and see and the difference when both of these robot vacuums are going across carpet. I 
and we're going to show you a demonstration now of how it can help to dry your roller mop when you are cleaning with uh, our floor cleaning robot. So I have with me today a temperature checker, which we have here, and we're going to now check exactly how hot that the air is that comes out of the bottom of the auto empty station here um, beside me. So I'm going to take my temperature checker here and place it next to the auto empty station. Obviously, um, the air duct that kind of, or the drying duct is at the bottom here. And if I just place it next to the uh, hole here, we should see now just exactly how warm the temperature is here. And you'll see it starts to rise. We're currently at 45 degrees Celsius and it should just keep rising here as well. Okay, so as you can see now, it's around about 50 degrees Celsius. So this is a perfect temperature to help to dry your roller mop and it'll make everything super, super clean and dry. And I'm now gonna take, we have here something I've made earlier, which is uh, our piece of tissue here. And we're gonna use this now to show exactly how our auto empty station can help to dry. So I'm gonna take some water here and just spray the bottom of my tissue paper here. So as you can see now, this piece of tissue is completely dried and it's thanks to the auto empty station's uh, drying function is located again, as we said before, at the bottom of the auto empty station. SwitchBot S10 really sucks. Hair at home. It's a problem that a lot of you always get stuck on, but it's something that will not get stuck to SwitchBot S10. And we have a demonstration here now to show you exactly how SwitchBot S10 can deal with any hair that may be located on your wooden flooring or carpet too. And we have a test now, so let's see exactly what it can do. Okay, now that we've finished vacuuming, I'm gonna check it out and see exactly what is going on underneath. So if I just come on in here, and I'm gonna reach on down over here, turn it around, and as you can see here now, we have successfully uh, vacuumed up the hair here and you can see it's very very easy to take off like so and uh, there we go it's actually uh, all back to normal so you see how SwitchBot S10 collects dust from the machine itself into the dust bag that's located inside the auto empty station and we're now going to show you a very quick demonstration of how that might look in real life. So I'm going to take off the top of our uh, floor cleaning robot here and you will see inside as we've seen before um, the dustbin here and if I just open this you'll notice that we've put you know a bit of cotton inside here for this demonstration to show you how it's taken from the dustbin into the dust bag. I'm going to close that now and place that inside uh, SwitchBot S10 here. I'm gonna take the lid and put it back on again. And we're now gonna show you a demonstration of what happens when we take it from here into the auto empty station. Okay, and if we have a little look now. And you'll see it's completely empty. It's all been taken out and placed into our dust bag. And I think if you look at um, a comparison here that we have between us and some other brands you might find on the market, you may, uh, you know, you'll see the difference here is absolutely outstanding when it comes to having a fully automated floor cleaning robot at home. So please make sure you do take advantage of this. So again, my name is Matthew. Uh, I'm from the marketing department here at SwitchBot and I hope you guys have had a wonderful time watching the very first live demo we have done of SwitchBot S10 and we hope to see you soon. So please take care and have a wonderful day. Thank you.